In today's video, we're going to show you some strong close tips and tricks. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now if you're new to the channel and you've never seen any of my content before, what I do is I post Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day on YouTube. We do four of these videos a day. One goes live every day at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We upload at the same time every day so that you know when to come to the channel and check stuff out. And we also live stream every single day at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you haven't subscribed yet and research shows that only 40% of you that actually will watch this video are actually going to be subscribed to the channel I want to ask you right now to go ahead and click the subscribe button for the daily content and really quickly I want to remind you guys that it's completely free to subscribe on YouTube but if you want to join the YouTube channel when you come to the live stream you'll be able to get some cool badges and some cool perks in our week in our daily live streams that we live stream every day at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time so if you haven't joined the channel yet go ahead and do that it shows a lot of support to me and I really appreciate that all right, guys, so I want to talk about strong close, and I want to talk about why I think that um, you're seeing a lot in weekend league. We're going to share with you a very simple route combination um, from this formation. There's several route combinations that I could share with you that are really, really effective. We're just going to focus on one of them today. And in my opinion, you actually would want to, if you were going to run this as a full scheme, you would want to have a tight end apprentice. Now, we actually broke down um, a simple version of the strong close in this week's text message membership. And what the text message membership is, is it's basically where we sit down for about 45 minutes to an hour and we break down a full scheme out of a formation or a um, playbook that we really like. So in the past, we've broken down the single back trio from Minnesota, the cluster from Arizona, the U trips from New England. And this week, we're breaking down the strong close from the San Francisco 49. Niners offensive playbook in Madden 21. So if you want to pick that up, all you got to do is completely free for you to pick it up. Literally, all you have to do is text me. My cell phone number is in the description of this video. It's also in the top left hand corner of your screen. All right, guys. So the play that we're going to talk about today is wide receiver out. Now, wide receiver out is a very simple, it's a yard gainer. It's a really, really good play, especially if you have like a route tech receiver like I do on the Packers with Devontae Adams. So I'm going to put Tavon Austin at the other position here, and we're just going to call wide receiver out. And what you're going to find with this play is it's really, really effective. It's a very simple, just yard gaining type of play that you're going to be able to just simply gain yards against your opponent. So um, here's a setup. It's really, really, really simple. Literally, all we're going to do is we're going to block the running back and we're going to shift our line or slide our line to whatever side they slide their line. So, for example, if I was facing 335 wide, you, they, if they slide their line to the right, then I'm going to slide my line to the right. It's going to help a little bit with the pass protection and just help with some of the user rushes and things like that. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take Tavon off, so we're going to put him on a slant route and we're going to motion him from right to the left side. And the first formation I want to show you this against is actually going to be man coverage and kind of show you how this does a really, really good job against man coverage. So the first route that we're going to read is this out route. If this out route doesn't get pressed, we know that that's going to be wide open if they run man coverage. If they run man coverage and that receiver has a route technician on him, as Devontae Adams does in regs, that route is going to very easily be able to beat the the uh, man coverage. Now the other thing that I would recommend that you try is putting this fullback on a swing route. Now a lot of people like the little flat route that he's already on. I actually really like that swing route against um, a lot of different defenses. But you'll notice that this little man switch right here to Devontae Adams that occurs, this little natural switching of the man coverage assignments is going to allow Devontae Adams to basically get off the press. He's not going to get pressed. Um, you'll see here again, I'm going to motion this guy over and if I snap the ball like right here, you see he doesn't get pressed and he's able to get outside and be able to beat that man-to-man -man coverage. So the reason I tell you that is that's a very solid and very simple little read that you can have against man-to-man -man coverage. Now the next thing that you're going to be able to do is once you look at your little out route to Devontae Adams, then you're going to peek at your slant. And the slant is going to be coming right across this defense, and it's also going to beat man-to-man -man coverage. You're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage very simply to the inside when you motion snap the slant. Motion snap slants are pretty much essential to any offense this year, and it's no different with the strong within the strong close offensive uh, scheme. The next route that we're going to try to hit is we're going to look to this tight end. So once we have that, this tight end route is going to get really good separation. It's a nice little post route that's going to get separation against man-to-man -man coverage relatively easily to the inside. Now the last route that I want to talk to you about is this route to the fullback. And this is basically a snap throw read. If anyone does, if someone goes out to the flat with him, throw it. But if nobody 
kind of jumping up to the flat, that's going to mean that the middle linebacker on the back side of the formation is in man coverage on him. And so the reason that that's significant is a lot of time they're going to use her their they're going to use her their middle linebacker. Most defenses will use her them. So I'm looking at this right side linebacker. If nobody goes out to the flat, I might just throw this really really quickly and try to pick up five, six, seven, ten, fifteen yards with a very simple little quick flat pass to the fullback. Okay, so that's how we beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now, really quick, I just wanted to remind you, if you want to pick up the full, strong, close scheme that we broke down this week in our text membership, um, just shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. Okay, so once you start beating man coverage, then what you're going to start to see is everyone's favorite zone coverage in Madden 21, and that is cover three Mabel coverage with two deep halves from the outside. It's one of the most effective coverages in Madden 21. But what you're going to notice with this with this specific setup is if you look at this route to Devontae Adams here, you're going to see that I can actually high point that or basic kind of try to get that out there against against that. And really what you're going to notice is against Mabel coverage, it actually does pretty solid. Um, it you need to read this play. Okay, I'm not telling you not to I'm not telling you to just throw this route blindly. But if you notice that Devontae Adams has outside leverage, right, don't be afraid to throw that. But if he does, um, or if they are able to stop it, then you want to start working your backside combinations. So, you know, oftentimes people will run a lot of deep half defenses. So you're going to see a lot of, you know, something like this right here. This is what you're going to see a lot of. You're going to deep half on that left side. And the primary reason they're going to do that is because it's going to stop some of the cover three beaters that we break down in the text membership. But what you'll see here is if you get something like that where they're deep halfing, you see that I can basically high point it, get it out there, and secure catch that against that coverage. And the beauty of that is that's going to beat every cover three Mabel coverage in the book. Um, you're going to be sitting pretty against most of those Mabel coverages. Now, let's say that you read Mabel coverage really, really quickly, and maybe they're usering on the right side of the field. When you snap this ball, if they jump out, you can easily hit that little quick snap through a slant route right in the middle of that. If they jump out to go take Devontae Adams, it's a very easy, natural progression for you to be able to just jump and throw this route to your slant. Now, really quickly, I want you to make sure that you understand this is a quick snap decision, quick decision-making offense because it is under center. So I'm going to look there. If that's not there, then I can typically that typically means there's a window in behind there that I can hit. So if they go to cover the snap throw slant, that means that I can typically hit this route to the tight end right across their face really, really quickly. So if they do cover the tight end quick, and basically I'm just watching their user. Does their user go to the right or the left? If he goes to the left, then I'm going to look to the right. If he goes to the right, I'm going to look to the left. But you also have this tight end late in the play as well. So once their user oftentimes will maybe sit on the tight end for a second and then try to jump down on the slant, then once they jump off of that route to the tight end, you're going to be able to hit that tight end um, pretty easily whenever he comes across the formation um, simply on that little post route right there. And then the last thing that you can do is, again, this is a multi-window route, so you can hit this route to Tavon Austin. The one thing that I would say is if they're running Mabel coverage, hitting that route late is actually going to be a little bit challenging, as you just saw. So that's more um, for a situation where they may run, if they're just running like cover three, and they're just running hard flats, because they have to run hard flats to be able to stop Dylan. So if they're just running hard flats on their field and they're not running curl flats, you'll see you're going to have a wide open lane to be able to hit this slant once he comes across the formation. Really quickly, I want to cover, you know, what do you do if they're not running hard flats? If they're not running hard flats, both of your quick flat routes will be wide open. So you'll be able to peak this route. So you see, oh, they're not running a lot of hard flats on that right side. So I can snap and get that ball out to the fullback and make myself a little gain against you know any any defense really and i personally really like the swing route some people like to leave him on that little flat route i really like the swing route i think it gets out better and you just can rat catch it a little bit better so that's why i like to go with it um but if you leave let me just show you really quickly if i leave the fullback on his default route you'll notice that nothing you know nothing relatively that crazy is going to be negative you see here i can hit it it's just i just don't think he gets as good of a rat catch animation um, when you when you decide to do that, but that is the wide receiver out play. Wide receiver out is one of the best plays from strong close. It's one of the starting point plays. And the bottom line here 
is it's a yard gainer. I think people focus too many, and even myself a lot of the time, we focus sometimes too much on one play touchdowns against cover three or one play touchdowns against cover two, but we forget to do the simple things that work against every single coverage. So a play like this wide receiver out is really good against both man coverage and zone coverage because you have multiple uh, routes that are going to be able to uh, do a good job depending on what the defense is going to do. So if you want to get the full strong close scheme, you can shoot me a text. My number is 812 216 Three six four four. Our CFM drop is tonight on our live stream. So if you haven't caught a live stream in a little while, you want to come out and hang out with us tonight. We'll be live streaming Madden right here on my YouTube channel at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So I want to invite you to that. And really quick, just want to remind you guys, my commitment to you guys as a channel is that I will not miss a live stream in 2021. I'm committed to streaming every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, even if it's just for five minutes. Most of the time we stream for a little bit longer than that. But every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, you will see some type of live stream from my channel. So be sure to come by. Come check it out tonight. Would love to connect with you. Love to chat with you. If you want to get the full scheme, shoot me a text message. My number's in the description. If you guys need anything, if you have any, have any Madden questions, you can also feel free to text me. It is my personal phone number. There's no robots. There's no gimmicks here. Literally, it's my personal phone number. Um, that I've been giving out. It's just because I believe in you guys and I want to help you guys uh, be successful as best as I can. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you pick up the uh, strong close, uh, again, the strong close breakdown is completely free. Um, we spend 56 minutes breaking down the 49ers strong close this week for you guys. And once you get the text membership, you get the playlist for all of them. So you get the Arizona, you get the big nickel, you get the um, I think the U trips or whatever else we've done. We've done over 10 videos on there for you. So over 10 hours of kind of secret hidden content um, that you can get that are really full schemes are really intense. They're really detailed and they're really deep high level videos. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to text in so you can get those high level stuff and we'll see you tonight on our stream at 10 o'clock PM Eastern time.